Wayne Stewart, I've been um, stud manager here at White Rev Lodge. I've been here for most of my life. It goes back to probably when I was at, still at school really and then started coming over in the weekends and then during the week and ended up coming and working on the stud and sort of by the time I was 15 I was handling the stallions, no bijou and that and covering the mares and away we went. Property like White Robe, we had racing and the stud, so you got the whole package really. I've been lucky myself, Karen, my wife, and I bred Envoy, and he was a good group winning horse for Ken and Bev Cow, so he won the Wellington Cup. He actually ran in the Melbourne Cup, and he ran six in the Melbourne Cup. But no, he was a good winner for us, and yeah, Brett and Clue, she won 10, she was a good winning mare, and uh, Royal Flight, she was a stakes winning mare, and uh, Flight Captain, he was a stakes performer. Had a lot of winners, breed a lot of winners. Started off slowly, I was a bit worried early days, they were a bit rough, but um, no, bred some nice horses, some, a lot of winners really, and Willow, she was a handy wee mare, and, and now we're breeding off some of those daughters, so yeah, it's been good. Probably no Bajous, you know, with the Phantom Chance winning the Derby and the Cox Plate. You know, you never forget things like that. Phantom Chance on the outside takes the lead 100 metres out and the Phantom Chance is going to win the Cox Plate. He's drawing away and wins easily. And even, you know, we bred and sold like the Alibi and Prince Majestics and LA Bijou, like in Australia, they were Quinella and group, group one races, you know, like it's pretty unbelievable when you think about it now, not just winning them, actually Quinella'd some of them. We're very lucky at White Robe, you know, with having the breeding side of it, you get to see you know, the, the matings right through to the weaning and, you know, and, the, and then breaking in and, and then going on into the racing team. And like the racing team normally has anywhere in the summertime between 30 and 50 horses. So great place to work and learn. You know, you can learn all aspects of the business really. And there's been quite a few people here that have worked here over the years. And Bruce Slade, when he was at uni, he came and worked and Vicky Leonard. She worked here and Mike Rennie lived here for his last year of uni and, and you know, they've all gone away and you know, you know, learnt their trade a bit here hopefully and gone away and got good jobs and done well for themselves.